What's the crack lads? It's player of the week Thursday. We're going to be reviewing all of the new player of the weeks including three boosters. We're going to be doing a cheeky spin and telling you if it's thumbs up or thumbs down this Thursday. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the selection this week. I think there's there's a couple of strange choices in this, right? The first one is Bastoni and Hernandez. We've had so many free versions of Bastoni and, and Hernandez. I'm actually going to hide my face, lads, uh, because we're going to show you the full picture here of all the players. On Nana as well, I'm not even going to pronounce this guy's name, lads. I mean, Hajadinovic, is that how you pronounce his name? That was a good attempt, be honest. Uh, speed acceleration for a whole plain centre midfielder. I feel like a lot of people even took me up wrong the last day when I was talking about uh, a couple of like orchestrators or whole players. To be honest, there's so many good players now that have all of these type of stats and skills, but they have no weakness. They also have balance and they also have finishing. So that's where a lot of these cards are really not going to be coming into the in, into their own. He doesn't have a real face either, but he doesn't have a low lofted pass either, which I think is a bust. All of these guys from back here, including Onana. I mean, are you going to really risk Onana in goals if you get him in the player of the week? I mean... I personally don't think that I would. Honestly, I just don't feel I would. We have as well Orsolini here as well as a right midfielder, but he can play SS as well, which is probably where I would play him. Standard form, which is okay. And of course, he has a real face in game, as you see there. Double touch, flip flap. You're not able to give him soul control, but the rest of his stats are pretty decent. He doesn't have one touch pass either for a creative playmaker. It's just, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know why that they don't. Talby is a centre back build up, pretty decent, but his speed is lacking, even though you don't need much speed for a player like this as a build up. You know, he's in the Van Dyke, Varane kind of category, but he's pretty decent as well. Good height, good strength, good physical contact, and of course, he's going to be getting the manager boost with that as well to bring his stats up. And of course, Matha there as well, the 35 year old, throwing it back. Um, he's actually pretty decent centre forward with the finishing, but that's basically all you get with him. Now, on to kind of the players, right? Hernandez and uh, Bastoni. We've had so many additions of these that I honestly don't know why they're continuing to bring out Bastoni and Hernandez. It's like they're ambassadors for the club or something. It's like every two weeks or three weeks, there's a Bastoni or Hernandez card or Pavard card or something like that. We got these in the festive pack as well. Bastoni's a good lad. Like, he's not a bad player at all. But this guy doesn't have blocker, <coughs> excuse me, so you can't give him blocker either. And Hernandez doesn't have one touch pass as far as I, uh, as far as I know, which is go going to be kind of crucial because his passing skills are not that good and you can't train him, you know, you can't train him up. He's just a pure speed demon, that's all he is. You can see their 98 speed will go to 99 with the manager boost. It's an okay card if you don't have him again. Now the top three boys are actually quite decent. We'll start with Bellingham who's having a phenomenal uh, start to his career at Real Madrid and a phenomenal season unwavering form one of my favorite players in the game since the game launch he gets an agility plus three booster which is massive for a card like this that has everything he has double touch flip flap and soul control so he's got ball roll off from the off first time shot rising shot one touch pass fighting spirit the only thing he doesn't have is low lofted or weighted pass that's the only thing that he's missing but he's down as an attacking midfielder which is going to mean that you're going to want to shoot a bit more with him Speed and acceleration are really nice, balance is really nice, but it's all about his play style. He's down as a whole player play style, which I think is going to make a huge difference to this card. I think this is going to be an absolute nuts card uh, when you get used to him. That ball control is brilliant, and of course that speed and acceleration is going to be really nice as well with the balance. So he's not like over completely overblown with the stats. I think that there is still a better card out there with the Showtime one, but it's a pretty nice start. And of course, we've got Bruno Gomeres, Gomeres from uh, Newcastle as well. Pretty decent card, doesn't get the booster, but he has actually got really nice player skills, including weighted pass, outside curler, low lofted. And of course, he's also got true pa or first time shot and long range shooting. So I like this card a lot. I know a lot of people love this, uh, this guy in game. For me, he is more of kind of like a slow based orchestrator passer. So I kind of stay away from those a lot of the time, unless I'm playing free to play, um, where you can kind of mess around a little bit more. Declan Rice down as a box to box, a little bit more attacking while still having defensive capabilities. He gets a boost, his low pass and lofted. With the manager boost, of course, when we have him in our squad, we're going to have the low pass and lofted pass into the 90 zone. And we also have the kick and power at 85. And his defensive capabilities are going to be outstanding as well with 95 defensive engagement and aggression and tackling at 91 each. And what I love about this guy as well is uh, his player skills. You know, he's got really nice player skills. Only thing he's missing is a DMF. But he's down as a box box, so it's not as important, is blocker. That's the only thing. The rest of his stats are brilliant. Way to pass, low lofted, man mark, and interception, slide and tackle and fight in spirit. He doesn't have one touch pass, but I don't think with this card, because of his passing skills, 
or his stats, that's going to be a huge deal breaker. And then Haaland. Oh, my old boy Haaland. They bring out a player of the week Haaland for the first time in months. And they still absolutely destroy the car with tight possession and balance. Look at that balance, man, even with the booster. He gets a booster to his balance, but it's only going to bring it to 61. Physically, he's very, very strong. Jumping is quite poor. I mean, did you guys see his jump the other night? I mean, he went up about 20 foot in the air to do a volley when he could have just tapped it in with his head. Um, this guy is crazy, man. He's crazy physical, such an athlete. But the only thing that saves Haaland is the fact that he's down as a super sub and he's got fighting spirit and acrobatic finishing. But he doesn't have one-touch pass. He doesn't have a lot of stuff that you could possibly want with him. But he is, he is going to be a good super sub for you. I would not start this Haaland. Um, I'm sure that he'll be fairly buff for a while, but I would not start this Haaland, man, in my opinion. Um, I don't think that he's that good. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much it, man. That is pretty much it for the player of the week. Yeah, we'll do one spin here now for you, and then we'll we'll hold two for the live stream as well. And let's see who we get. Come on, Bellingham, man. Oh, Declan Rice. Okay, well, that's a great pull, man. That's a great pull. Once we get a booster, it's the first time we've got a booster in a long time with these. So I'm happy enough with that. That's actually a bit of luck in the, in the YouTube here. So give me a GG's in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, please do. So lads, there you go. That is the player of the week review roundup. We got Declan Rice, which is lucky enough. We'll test him out later on in the stream. We'll also open up our two other players in the stream and do the free one. But let me know if you're going to spin or skip this week. And I'll see you hopefully in the stream later on.